Welcome to MOOCon 2023, the first of our internal conferences for OROC Digital. Uh, we've all gathered together for the first time since COVID, since we were acquired by Sumo Digital. Um, it's the first time we've all been together, over 100 of us. We've got people from India, we've got people from Brazil, we've got people from all over the country, um, all joined together to actually meet in person, see each other, recognise each other for the first time and collaborate and see how we can move forward and keep making games brilliantly. This is MooCon 2023. Uh, this is the first time we've ever gathered everybody in, in this studio in one place. Uh, we're a predominantly remote studio, so actually it's brilliant to have an opportunity where everybody meets each other in person. We've got a whole bunch of events, cross-discipline events, art codes, design, things like that, as well as interdisciplinary events, as well as general you know, project reviews, that sort of stuff. Yeah, really, really exciting opportunity. What MUCON represents for me is, again, putting at the forefront of what we do the importance of like human connection and trust and relationships with the people that you're working with. It's a chance to meet all the people I haven't met already and to, I don't know, just share and cross chat and, and just have a really nice time. It, it's a productive space as well, but honestly, it's just this is just a lovely excuse to meet all the people that I work with. That's the truth of it. The difference between um, Oracle and some of, my, some of my other companies that I worked with is, although there are obviously people that manage other people, everyone is on it is basically on the same level. Whether you're a lead or whether you're a junior, everyone's treated the same. We get to work on fantastic projects. Projects that I never thought I'd ever get a chance to work on, that's one thing. Oroc as a studio now is so very varied as well, so I, I get to meet different people from all sorts of different walks of life, and I love and respect all of that. I think, yeah, the no like blame culture and stuff like that is really good, the fact that like nothing's anyone's like individual fault. I think that really helps people just be open and honest about their work and how they're feeling about it. How everyone's treated me, it's just been like really lovely. Um, and like all the mental health stuff that we do with work has been really supportive. We worked really hard on our culture, we always have, even when we were small and we were determined that even as we got bigger we kept that. Um, we have a strong anti-crunch policy so um, we never ask that people work overtime. We are really geared towards people's welfare and work-life balance burnt out people don't produce good work and especially when you're in a creative industry you need people to be on top form to make creative things um, so we find that people that are well looked after well rested don't feel burnt out do better work it just makes sense it's not rocket science <laughs> the last question i've got for you is are you team dog team cat controversial within the sumo group which seems to be a lot more team dog but Oroc Digital is absolutely definitely a team cat company. Team dog. Team dog, all the way. And no matter how many people do interviews and say they like dogs, the reality is... Team dog. Definitely team dog. It's cats. I've been presented with the evidence of people owning dogs at the company. Oh, I'm 100% team dog. I am the very, very proud owner of Coco, who is the official company mascot. But I'm, I, are they real? Are they really dogs? Or are they, are they cats in dog suits? People are dressing their cats up as dogs, just, just as a prank, really. And don't get me wrong, cats are great, but they are arseholes. <laughs> team dog. Team dog, yeah, team dog. I, I believe everybody really has a cat. It's a conspiracy. A catspiracy. I actually am not a fan of animals. <sighs> I'm like, I don't care. I don't care about either one. <laughs>